so we are here at the Comic Con in Germany, and look who I found. It's me, Tom Bancroft. Tom Bancroft. So I did uh, Simba and Young Simba and Lion King. A uh, bunch of characters in Beauty and the Beast. Uh, let's see, Pocahontas and Pocahontas. Uh, I created Mushu the Dragon for Mulan. Uh, did Roger Rabbit, um, uh, Jafar and Yago in Aladdin. So a bunch of a bunch of characters. So surreal to actually meet you. It's amazing. Thank you. What do you think? What elements? Does an animator need to improve or fix if they want to raise their um, quality from mediocre to feature film level? You know, the thing that I see the most uh, that people don't do uh, in their animation is they don't bring the life. Mm -hmm. And they don't bring necessarily even themselves to it. Um, and it's hard to hear that as a student and understand what that really means. Uh, but to me, what that means um, is that you're just not making your characters look and act like every other character looks and acts. So you're not, it's the idea of not just making your character look like your favorite, if Ariel is your favorite character, now you're drawing a character and you're making it look like her and move like her. You're actually trying to think of something original, so maybe more like I've, I have a girlfriend or a best friend and I'm gonna make a character that is like them. And to me, that's going to be a more original character because you're going to try and think of how does that person, a real person, move and act and maybe even look, too, in their character design. And that's what's going to make that character where all of a sudden become this new original character that people are going to be instantly drawn to. It's not like something they've seen before. Because we can do fan art the rest of our lives, but it's not going to get you a job, right? So you need to start creating your own characters and that's a good way to start is think about the people around you yeah draw from life that's yeah. where inspiration comes from yeah um, then I wanted to ask you for some advice that you would maybe give to uh, people who just start out to become artists or animators uh -huh. oh general advice you know it's it's advice is hard because it's so specific right um, how do I draw a hand and all that? And usually I have to sit down and actually say, well, here's how I do it. Yeah. And now I do it isn't necessarily the best way, it's just the way I do it. Um, and hopefully it's based on real anatomy also. So to me, learning anatomy and things like that, what's, uh, knowing how things work, um, and that just means digging a little deeper in your drawing so that you're not just drawing um, say, and I don't need to know mechanically how a car works, but I need to know the general gist of, okay, these four wheels spin, the first two can turn, the back two can't turn, so all those little things, believe it or not, just those basic things, I don't have to know how to construct the engine, but I at least need to know how that car moves and works um, to be able to draw a car, even in a cartoony way, and make it a little bit more believable. And so bringing that believability to a human character is doing the same thing. It's learning a little bit about anatomy and uh, things like that that are real. And because everything we draw, even a cartoon version, um, signing your character mentor right now, and there's stuff in here that I put about even how folds work and how your clothing lies on your body, there's perspective to it. And so there's even knowing the, the most basic forms of perspective are going to help your animated characters look more more real, more right, more correct. Yeah, Believ believability I think is yeah. a big, big thing. Yeah, thank you so very much. Uh, You're welcome. Awesome to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you. I'm finishing his Mushu drawing. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you. So, in my excitement of meeting Tom Bancroft, I actually totally forgot to ask him if he wanted to promote any of his books, so I'm doing this for him. He has some great books on character design uh, called Character Mentor 
and creating characters with personality, which are very, very valuable not only for character designers, but also for animators who want to strike strong poses. Together with his twin brother, who is also a Disney animator, he hosts the Bancroft Brothers Animation Podcast. Uh, and they always have an amazing guest there, so you should really check this out too. And then he's really active on Facebook in DeviantArt, so you can actually contact him and say hi. And yeah, thanks again, Tom Bancroft, for this wonderful advice. If you want to know more about using reference and real life as inspiration for your work, you should check out this video, which is about taking this information and turning it into a visual library in your head. If you like our videos, please subscribe to this channel and like, and yeah, come again.